and said, you know what? If nobody's gonna employ me, I will employ my damn self and did their thing and I think it's awesome. I am beyond excited to do this video. I have a bunch of products beside me from four different brands that I'm so excited to spotlight and all of these brands have one thing in common and that is that they are owned by people with disabilities. I did a lot of research and unfortunately there's not that much information out there about disability owned businesses. But what I have found, I will link below. I wasn't able to purchase from every single brand that I found, but I tried to pick a diverse group of brands to spotlight. Um, so each brand is, is owned by somebody with a different disability. Um, I found a lot of different businesses owned by people with Down syndrome or people with autism, and I kind of chose my, the ones that interested me the most, I don't wanna say my favorite, but the ones that interested me the most and had products that were actually useful for my lifestyle. And then I tried to kind of find other disabilities as well to spotlight because I wanted to make sure I wasn't just supporting, you know, one small subsection of the community, but I was trying to spotlight as much as I could. Um, and given that I couldn't purchase from every company that I found, I'm gonna link below a bunch of different disability owned businesses that I have found. And I'm also going to link below some disability owned businesses that don't actually sell physical product for me to purchase and show you here today. There may be in marketing or consulting or things like that. So I will link as many as I can personally find down below. And if you watching this video are a disabled person who owns and runs a small business or you know of somebody who is, definitely drop that website link or drop that information down below. And maybe if we have enough, I can do a follow-up video supporting more small disability-owned businesses. I was really sad to see how hard it was to find information. There was a couple of articles or blog posts. I reached out to a bunch of people in my community um, and asked if they know of any. And I feel like the ones that I picked are just like really top tier, great products. But I think it would be really awesome to see, say like one of these is an Etsy seller. I think it would be so cool to see Etsy actually have like a link because I know on Etsy they have like a shop black owned businesses link. I think it would be really cool to see shop disability owned businesses link added as well. So yeah, that's what this video is. And I want to say that the one thing that I noticed from shopping these companies is a lot of them had family heavily involved. And I know that I could not have built the business that I have for myself if it wasn't for my mom and dad and all of the time, love, effort, and support that they have given me. Unfortunately, so many disabled people struggle to find work. We know that, you know, 80% of the blind community is unemployed, or depends, it varies country to country. And a lot of the disability community faces that as well. I'll have some statistics here and linked down below as well about unemployment in the community. And so running your own business is a really, really great option. But I think any entrepreneur, able-bodied or disabled would tell you that it takes a lot to start a business from, from scratch and to build it up. And it really does take a village. And so um, I am sad to think of all the people out there who don't have that family support system because just like some able-bodied people, there's also a lot of disabled people who don't have support from family. And I'm just so lucky and grateful that I have had that. And I'm so grateful that these disabled business owners have also had that in their lives to be able to support them in growing their businesses. And it's not to say that you cannot grow a business without family support, but I do think, like I said, any entrepreneur would tell you it does take a village and, and having that support is definitely a bonus and, and a leg up and I recognize that that's something that I've had in my life that not everybody does so I'm just super filled with gratitude and I wish there was more I could do to help um, other disabled entrepreneurs and so I'm just trying to do my part by spotlighting these companies and I'd love to continue to do this um, I'm doing a series over on my TikTok about it as well, so check that out. Um, yeah, I'd love to continue to be able to do this. So let me know some businesses that you think I should shop from or spotlight in the disability community next. I think that's all I wanted to say. So where should we start? Let's start with what I'm wearing. I didn't just want to shop from like diverse disabilities, but diverse like products because I know that not everybody loves clothes as much as I love clothes but I did have to shop from one clothing brand because it is owned by two of my friends, 
Bradford and Brian Manning, who are brothers with Stargarts. So I am starting with my own community, the blind community. Stargarts, if you don't know, is a sister disease to what I have, retinitis pigmentosa. When you have RP, like myself, you lose your vision from outwards in, and when you have Stargarts, it's the exact opposite. You lose your central vision out. So they're missing their central vision, but they do have pretty good peripherals still. Um, and they started two blind brothers. They've had absolutely wild, phenomenal success. I would not call them a small business at this point. And what they're doing is simply incredible. Their product is made in America for the most part. They do have a few products that they get overseas from China, but for the most part, all of their clothing is made here in America and same with their sunglass line. As well, their sunglass line is made uh, mostly by people who are blind or visually impaired and they've hired a lot of blind people throughout the years which I think is incredible continuing to empower our own community even more than that not only is it sustainably made here in America a hundred percent that's right I said 100 percent of the profits gets donated to help fund vision, vision research um, so they mainly donate to the foundation fighting blindness um, but they also help many different organizations and in fact when they found out that I've been fundraising for the Mira Foundation They told me that um, they would like to donate five thousand dollars to help me and that's just like mind-blowing I couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much to Brian and Bradford I did a video with them on my channel many years ago this one right here So check that out to hear more of their story and their journey if you haven't already, but their stuff is so premium, so high quality. It's mainly sold online. They have a really fun program, the Shop Blind program, where you kind of basically, it's basically like the OG um, like mystery box. And that's been really, really popular for them. The stuff is like honestly stunning quality and even more fun. All of their stuff has braille on it that tells you the color. Not only is this great for sighted people to be able to like rock really comfortable, high quality, premium, clothing that supports a good cause but also for blind folks boom you already know what color it is so on the hat it says gray here in braille on my shirt it says blush and on my matching kind of hoodie zip up hoodie and jogger set it says black and i think that's super fun i have a few other pieces here this right here and all of their tags kind of tell you a little bit about their story and they also say look in braille on them I just think this stuff is so, so, so beautiful and I truly couldn't be more proud of what they've done to date. They have been able to donate, hold your breath, almost $1.5 <laughs> million. <It's> incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> These guys are just so charismatic, so kind, so giving and selfless. They've dedicated themselves to this project um, and I just think it's really amazing what they do. I'm really, really, really proud of them. I'm really proud to call them friends. I'm really proud to see them. Um, to be a part of the same community as them and to be able to you know lift them up even even higher than they already are not that they need this shout out at all but I wanted to give it anyways so congratulations boys keep killing it keep crushing it keep doing what you're doing and let's move on to the next disability owned business so okay this one basically I knew immediately when I heard about this company <laughs> that I was placing an order what more do I love than clothing but loose leaf tea. This is Cup of Tay, which is run by a girl out of Toronto. She is a quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down. Uh, when she was 14 years old due to a gymnastics accident. She has a video on her website. I will link it down below. All of these websites will of course be linked below for your shopping pleasure. She was one of Oprah's favorite things this last year, which massive congratulations because Oprah is my queen. Can I be one of Oprah's queens? What a dream. No, no. <laughs> Are you getting the plug in there? I will, I will never, but um, I'm so proud of this girl. So she has this premium loose leaf tea company. The packaging is so beautiful. Like you could just see this in a high end store. And they also sell tea accessories. I just got tea because Lord knows I have like too many teacups and things like that, but I got three teas, two of which were in the Oprah's favorite things category, and that is the peppermint tea and the lemon ginger tea, and then I also had to add in the um, 
green jasmine which is like my mom's all-time fave and she was out and she was crying so <laughs> i picked this one up for her um and I'm okay shock now. <laughs> shocking it's like almost gone we have been drinking these every single day they smell amazing they taste amazing and most importantly you're supporting a black woman owned business who also is disabled I can't imagine um, how proud she is, and she should be, because she's done something really incredible. This all started from a podcast called, I think it was Tea Time with Tay, her name's Taylor, and um, that podcast was so successful that she turned it into an actual brand, Loose Leaf Tea brand. To be honest, like if I was to start something, Loose Leaf Tea would definitely be like up there on starting a business. Congrats, girl. Well done, and I will be a returning customer, and I promise you, if you purchase from Cup of Tay, you will as well. Next, this is Gallup's favorite thing from everything that I've purchased. We had to put Gallup away. <laughs> we had to put Gallup away for the video because he just could not. Um, this is Gracie's Doggy Delights, and this is run by a girl with Down syndrome who's passionate about adopting rescue dogs. She has three rescue dogs herself, and she started making them homemade treats, they are really simple and natural. It is just the product, freeze dried. That's it. So really basic, really healthy for your pets. Of course, a lot of the products are meat based, but she had cheese bites. And if you guys know my guide dog Gallup, he's a cheese hound. So he is obsessed. When you open this, it just smells like straight cheddar, which is basically what it is. And he could not be happier about it. I love this and I love what they're doing, of course. That's why I wanted to feature them in the video. I also picked up Gallup a little bandana. Um, they sell a few different products like a coffee mug and socks and bandanas. So I got Gallup a bandana in the extra large size and thankfully it does fit him. I was, I was concerned, but it does fit him. And um, it has this little cartoon of her and her dog and I think it's just so adorable. Um, also, they call their dogs who eat their treats G-dogs and Gallup is literally a G dog, Gallop. So I thought it was perfect for him and he looks absolutely dashing. Like a, like, like a dash hound. <laughs> dashing. He looks dash hounding. Okay, I'll stop. Final brand that I wanted to spotlight and highlight in this video is Jacob's Ladder. Now this was the Etsy shop that I purchased from and it's funny because this is actually the brand that inspired me to want to do this video. I stumbled across it in like a comment section of a video and I was like what a great idea this would be to support these businesses so um, that's what I did and more than just support them I wanted to spotlight them so all of you could support them too oh and Gracie sent a pen I didn't even buy this they just sent it with the order what where's the lip balm oh it fell oh here we go oh, I hate things that <laughs> thank Oops. you Jacob's Ladder is a business run by a man with autism. And what I thought was really sweet is, is I DM'd um, his mom just to find out a little bit more about the business. And uh, she shared with me that Jacob is really involved in every step of the process. I'll link the Facebook page for Gracie's Doggy Delights. I'll actually link all the social media for all of these companies below, but both Gracie's Doggy Delights and Jacob's Ladder on Facebook really showcase the process and the behind the scenes. Um, and they really like to share kind of what Gracie and what Jacob learned from this um, because both Gracie with her business and Jacob with his business are involved in the packaging, the design, the shipping, all of those different parts of running and owning a business that can be really challenging for people. And so I think it's really amazing that they're learning skills and building a business and being able to support themselves at the same time when, like I said, so many people in this community are unemployed and deserve to be employed because we are perfectly capable of, of being successful. And unfortunately, it's discrimination um, and it's judgment and it's ableism that stop us from being able to reach that full potential at times. So I think it's really amazing that these people have been able to take it into their own hands and said, you know what? If nobody's gonna employ me, I will employ my damn self and did their thing, and I think it's awesome. Um, and again, I, I, I recognize that that's a really hard journey for anybody, disabled or not. Big props to all of these brands. Um, so yeah, she she told me that you know he's really involved in every every step of the process, and he just really loves it, and I think that's awesome. The one thing I will note um, is that they do have some pieces of product on the Etsy shop that are, um, kind of affiliated with 
Autism Speaks, which certainly isn't an organization that I personally would support. And I know a lot of people in the autism community don't support as well. I chose not to buy any product that was in the shape of a puzzle piece because I didn't want to support that. And they have made a statement on their Facebook page about that. If I can find the specific statement, I'll link it below. Um, so yeah, I don't support Autism Speaks and um, I know many of you don't. So I did want to make a note of that, just something to be aware of. So I purchased this lip balm. Oh, it smells so good. It's their orange scented lip balm. And I really wanted to get their um, lavender gift set for my mom. Oh. And it was sold out. Oh. I was so upset. Of but course, it's lavender. Of course it's going to be sold out. My mom's obsessed with lavender. It's part of why we named the cat lavender. But <laughs> this is the um, packaging. Is it the right way around? Yeah, that's good. Great. Um, very so, nice packaging. Yes. Very simple just um, but like very, profe very professional, very professional, very you know, like sleek, professional. Again, Again you could see it in a very high. You end could store, see it in a yeah. very high end boutique. Really love this, and um, this will actually be going home. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping things. This will be going home with my mom, and my mom and dad oh. will be using this in their place for a new place. So this is a bar of soap. It's I really beautiful. Want to, yeah. I want to break into it, but I can't. Oh, no, no, it has like a kind of a lemon smell to it. Yes, though. it's lemongrass. Ah, that's my favorite. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Wow. Yeah, see, because lemongrass is like our second favorite yes. in this household, I figured lavender wasn't available, but I'd get lemongrass. Oh, yeah. That smells so good, and it feels really buttery, which makes sense that you said there's coconut milk in it. Yeah. And then, can you open that one for me, too? Mm -hmm. The only reason I didn't open it is because I wanted to show you guys the packaging. I think more so than ever, um, this last year has taught us that it's so important to support local businesses, to support entrepreneurs, to support small businesses, um, and shop more thoughtfully. So mm, I'm going to use this. This is like a hand lotion, which is cool. It's like, really? it's like almost like a How lovely stick form. Like Especially a, right now when we're washing our hands. Constantly. That's why I, I was like, yeah, I need this. It's like a lotion bomb. And it's also the lemongrass scent. Mm. Delicious. Love that. So congratulations to all these businesses. Um, I'm so happy that I found them. And I will be a repeat customer. And I hope you guys will too. Thank you so much for sitting with me for this video and hanging out again. If you want a video about canes versus guide dogs, you can click up here and check this one out. And if you want a video of me attempting to find myself for 20 minutes, you can click on this one. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.